In this video, we will introduce you to the Link Razor PDM, a device that allows you to take complete control of your vehicle's power management. With fully programmable power distribution and advanced data, the flexibility to expand your setup, and it's compatible with a wide range of ECUs and devices. The Razor PDM opens up a world of possibility, with some of the main benefits including smart control with advanced data, flexible inputs and outputs, superior thermal performance, vehicle protection, and its modular design makes it expansion easy. Now don't be deceived by its small and compact size, as this PDM can handle up to 100 amps of continuous combined current, as well as 160A of non-repetitive maximum current. And in the off chance you need to manage even more power, you can easily add more PDMs into your setup thanks to its expandable design using CAN. With superior thermal performance, the Razor PDM has been designed with vehicle protection in mind, while allowing for a more efficient, cleaner and reliable build. The Razor PDM is a programmable device that uses logic for the smart control of any outputs you have connected, meaning events and commands can be triggered when your vehicle hits specific parameters. It's compatible with all Link G4X and G4 Plus ECUs, meaning setup is easy and through a customized CAN stream, the PDM will also work with a range of other ECU brands and CAN based accessories. It can also be used as a standalone fuse box to replace existing fuses and relays. Over the next few minutes, we'll talk about why you need a Razer PDM, the key features of the product, the specifications, what comes in the box, and a brief overview of installation and setup. So why would you need a Link Razor PDM to manage your car's electronics? If you're currently using a standard fuse and relay system with switches, you'll know that controlling certain outputs can be quite limited because of simple on-off functionality. Not only that, but it can be tricky to diagnose any problems you may have due to messy wiring. Replacing faulty fuses and relays can also be a pain if the fuse box is in a hard to reach place. To put it simply, the Link Razor PDM is designed as a direct replacement for your fuse box and the relays connected to it, but with the added benefit of giving you much more control over your outputs. The Razor PDM allows your vehicle's wiring to be simplified, meaning your build can be more efficient, cleaner and reliable. Just like our ECU range, the Razor PDM comes with numerous safety features and cutouts. By using programmable logic, smart switching can be utilised to trigger specific events such as a fan switching on when the engine reaches a certain temperature or cutting to a secondary fuel pump when the primary pump fails by using dual redundancy. The PDM better protects the circuits in your vehicle thanks to the ability to configure and reset them digitally. It will also allow you to set fuse limits digitally. While the Razor PDM provides 12 inputs and outputs, four of which can be used as high power outputs, some of you may need access to more. With the Link Razor PDM, you can expand the number of inputs and outputs by installing another unit. That's right, you can connect more than one PDM to your ECU and all the information will flow down the same CAN stream. All the data flowing in the CAN stream, as well as other technical data, can be logged. This can help with fault finding or can assist with any improvements you want to make to your setup. As you would expect, from a Link Engine Management product, the Razer PDM is produced to the highest of standards, ensuring the superior durability and cooler running thanks to its superior thermal performance. So let's talk about the key features of the Razer PDM. The module can handle up to 100 amps of continuous current and up to 160 amps of non-repetitive current. The PDM has been built with safety and reliability in mind, which is why it features overcurrent and short circuit protection, with configurable trip and resettable fuse parameters, which are all set via the dedicated PDM software. This software will allow you to control and set many parameters within the PDM, 
including the setting up of intelligent control outputs. This means you can set up an output to switch on or off based on certain criteria. These can be programmed using PIDs, logic, or mass channels. If you are familiar with tuning in PC Link, then this will be a breeze for you to set up. You don't necessarily need an ECU to use this product, as it can be utilized as a standalone product. However, by connecting it to your Link ECU, you can operate the PDM via CAN devices, such as a CAN keypad, while CAN loggers can also be used to capture a multitude of data. For those of you without a CAN logger, your Link ECU can be set up to capture the CAN stream data. The PDM Link software can also monitor currents in real time, so you can see just how much power is being used. As mentioned earlier, the multiple PDMs can be run simultaneously when connected via CAN, which will allow you to expand the number of inputs and outputs you can use. Now let's look at the specifications of the Razer PDM. Wiring is connected to the PDM via a 26-pin AMP SuperSeal connector and can provide up to a maximum of 160 amps of non-repetitive current. Eight of the pins on the plug have been set aside exclusively as outputs. These are designed to handle four high current 25 amp electronically switched outputs for a maximum total of 100 amps of continuous current. High side, low side, half bridge and full bridge operations are all supported. PWM is also supported up to 10 kilohertz or up to 10,000 times per second and current can be continuously monitored. The eight I.O. pins, which can handle between zero to five volts, can be used as either high side outputs, analog inputs, or digital inputs. When used as a high side output, they can handle up to eight amps per channel. PWM is supported on four of the pins, up to 10 kilohertz, and the channels have a limited current. When the eight pins are used as an analog or digital input, Sensors and voltage measurements are supported, and up to four inputs can utilize PWM. Finally, there are two 5 volt output pins, a CAN bus connection and a USB Type-C connection. So you know what's inside the PDM, but now let's see what comes inside the box. As well as the PDM itself, you'll receive a quick start guide which will give you instructions on how to get the unit up and running, and a mounting plate which screws into the PDM and allows you to mount the device in a suitable location. If we dig deep inside the box, you will find a USB-C connection cable, the 26-pin SuperSeal connector and terminals, a positive terminal insulation boot, and two high current ring terminals, along with the accompanying bolts. It is highly recommended that you have someone with knowledge of vehicle wiring systems install the product on your behalf. You will need to connect your inputs, outputs, and if applicable, your ECU to the PDM along with the power source. Once everything is connected to the device, you will need to set it up using the custom PDM software available to download for free from the Link ECU website. This will allow you to configure the PDM to communicate with your connected components via the CAN stream. So to summarize, the Link Razer PDM allows you to better manage the electronic outputs of your vehicle using smart control to trigger events based on pre-configured variables or simple on-off commands using the simple relay mode. The unit works brilliantly in conjunction with your existing Link ECU, or it can be used as a standalone product. For full, in-depth, technical specifications and more general information of the Razer PDM, please visit our website at linkecu.com. Thanks for watching.